show ya Wish you made a call when you turn me on Go when you tell me you want me down mm-hmm. Done it, I done this before you fall I won't catch you, don't know I'm stolen Cause you love to have them all crying mm-hmm. Gonna be sweet day Tell me you need me but I'm from a city that's out. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, guys, we are working on the 328. So, we got a lot of things, honestly, here already. We already got some brand new tires. We got the window regulators. We got a new trunk. We got new climate controls. We also got a new door, new side mirror, new window, new everything. That's a complete door right there. Uh, we also got a new side mirror, and we're trying to get another door as well. We're still waiting on that. We are also using the fender and the front bumper. We're going to try to reassemble the front end of this car in today's video. That also means headlights bumpers and fender and obviously these stuff are damaged we're, we're pretty much gonna be trying to assemble it and at least get the car to be drivable looking in one piece everything at least operating the way it should be and you know so it just doesn't have to look like this in the next coming up video guys I want to literally dedicate one video to just working on it. the entire interior you mean from fixing the whole center console thing because the whole climate controls the buttons getting all that rerouted the, the center console piece uh, fixing the window regulators on all the windows and also fixing the door handles on all all the doors pretty much everything so we're gonna be Dedicating all of our time to the interior in another video, but in this video, we just want to pretty much reassemble the front end. We do have a full body kit coming in. I'm not going to see exactly what body kit it is, but we do have a full body kit coming in. It's going to make the car look a lot better, obviously fix all these broken panels, uh, but that also will be in a future video. That I think that's going to take a little bit of time to get shipped because some stuff is on back order. Um, and then also we have a full maintenance kit coming in, uh, as well as obviously new tires for the rear because the rear tires are just shredded. But yeah, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and focus on what's today's mission, which is getting on these two bad boys. Getting on those headlights, we got the new bulbs for the headlights, they just came in, so that also means that the headlights should be perfectly operational. So yeah, let's go ahead and get those headlights out and put those new bulbs back in. Alright guys, moment of truth, we got both headlights in. We actually bolted it in there. This one, I actually did some alignments to it. It looks pretty good. Um, as for this one, obviously we need to put on the fender. And even with that fender, the new, the, the original fender, um, that one actually has some damage to it, so it may not be perfect. But anyhow, uh, the halos are working right now, as you guys can see on both of them. Now we're just trying to see those daytime raining lights. So come on, please, please, please. Again, those are just halos, turn signals. Oh, those are daytimes. Should high beams now? Okay, that high beam's working. Those daytimes are running. That one, that high beam's not working. So that's unfortunate. So we need to figure out what's going on with that high beam. But yeah, thankfully everything on this headlight is good to go, which was the more harder one in my opinion. So let's go ahead and unbolt this one, see what's going on. Try to do the high beams one more time, Dion, because uh, what's going on? High beams? Good, not good. Okay, we need to, we need to fix that high beam. Guys, after moving one thing to another on the light bulbs, we finally got the high beams to work on this side. So my brother goes, in, yeah, there you go. Super happy about that. Uh, yeah, go ahead and flip through the knobs again. We just wanna make sure this adaptive module is working as well. If you see it moving, um, that means it is a good thing. I'm not actually seeing the headlight move, guys, but I think that's because the other headlight isn't hooked up. But I'm pretty sure everything else on this headlight's good to go. The high beam is finally working, which means we actually do have a parts headlight at the other house that has the cracked lens. I actually did sell the other headlight already. We made $150 back. We bought these two headlights for $220. So at this point, whatever that we have off our old headlight, the one that was on this side that was originally cracked, we can go ahead and use into this one so we don't have to spend any money. That is definitely a lifesaver. But yeah, guys, if you actually replaced your bulb, your high beam bulb, and it's still not working, Working. It's this adaptive module. It's literally on the side of the headlight. Uh, so yeah, literally this cable that connects to this, this module right here is the exact same cable that connects to this bulb. So I literally just traced it back. And as you can see, it's this module. Thankfully, we can literally, it's interchangeable between both headlights to so the exact same. So we tested it out. Now this headlight's perfectly good. So this module is definitely the dud. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, we will need to go to my other place to pick up the headlight. Unfortunately,
obviously it is at my place, not my dad's. So we will have to go get it before assembling the rest of the front end. But in the meantime, just because I don't really want to leave empty handed just like that, let's go ahead and mount this headlight, mount this fender, and then actually fix that. We even have to replace this little tank right here. So let's replace the tank, uh, put on the fender, fix the side skirt, and then uh, put on the headlight. So when we get back, we literally have to just put in that headlight and the bumper, and then pretty much the entire car is assembled. I want to get some stuff done right now, mainly because I don't want to go with literally the car looking the same way than when we got here. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get that pump in. Guys, we just got the fender on there, you know, just a little bit of a, uh, you know, just so a good wash. We talked about it. Uh, for this video, we're gonna do ghetto rebuilds, <laughs> where we hammer, hammer our project cars in. Bro, how, how you put together clapped out vehicles? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this looks crazy. It actually clears. Guys, like, like as, as ugly as that looks, with our hammering work, Look at anything's that. possible. Bro, when someone opens the door, they can't even hear. It Air sounds janky, style. bro. <laughs> this is temporary till the full body kit comes in. I, at least the car is looking more presentable, as you guys can see, instead of a giant missing fender. And now the side skirt's bolted on there. Uh, we can put on the front bumper, and it's gonna look all one piece. That is the main thing. Now, the fender is not 100% bolted on, so we're gonna go ahead and just finish putting the rest of the bolts on so it doesn't start like shaking or anything like that. Talk about jankiness. So yeah, guys, the next step, we got the fender on here. Honestly, the gaps are perfect, bro. I wish this was a good fender, because even the headlight gap is so perfect. It looks, it looks so the great. headlight, honestly, we're gonna leave it as it sits. When we get the new fenders, we know that we don't need to play with the headlight. Um, the side skirt's on there for now. We do need to get a proper side skirt. One of the tabs are broken over here, so we do have to put like an aftermarket screw right there. For the meantime, uh, we do plan on getting the proper side skirts. The, after, the well, it's aftermarket, but from Keys, it's usually perfect fitment. Um, so the next thing is, we need to get uh, the module. For the headlights so so the other headlights that originally came with the car we sold already one of them the other one has the module we need so let's go ahead and head out and get that module so and get the headlight put it in the car put on the front bumper the front bumper the only imperfection um you, you're gonna go at it now the only imperfection is this right here so uh yeah i actually did this myself to my first ever bmw i drifted into a curb on a rainy day it was an accident i gave it a little bit too much gas on a corner and it went right into a curb and that's what happened so then it went right back home and then i uh i pretty much went right behind it You want me to hold it while you hammer? Hold on, folks. <laughs> Alright, should be good. Good as new. How does it look? I mean, I mean. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we can do a little better. We'll do a little bit better right before we actually put on the bumper. But I mean, uh, guys, that's the only perfection with this bumper, obviously. Uh, but again, again, this bumper is getting swapped out, the fin is getting swapped out. We're just putting the whole front end together so we can work on the little details get this thing registered while we're still waiting on that kit because I think the kit's gonna take about two to three weeks and I don't wanna hold off on the build for two to three weeks. So, let's go in and get those modules. And we made it back. This is the parts headlight, I believe. Is it? Um, no, that's actually a good headlight. Where is the broken headlight? This one. So this one has a cracked lens on it. Uh, but other than that, it's a fully functional headlight. Just needs a new lens. I um, mean, it is complete with everything else. We're actually gonna go ahead and just part out this entire headlight, sell the parts on eBay. I just think that would actually make more money. And at the same time, we can sell the bracket and just keep any extra modules for this car just in case anything bad happens down the road with these headlights.
All right, guys, that's what I'm talking about. Both headlights are lined up absolutely perfect. Check that out. Check this out. And at this point, these are the headlights we replaced. They should have all the good modules. So let's go ahead and test out both headlights, make sure these are all good to go. While I was working on this, my brother's actually working on this. How's this going, bro? You pulled it out? Yeah, that looks a lot better. I mean, you still got a little dent over here, but you pulled this stuff back there. Yeah. I mean, it looks pretty good, bro. It's definitely usable in the meantime, you know? He needs a little bit of heat to uh, punch that out. But I mean, hey guys, like I said, this thing is gonna look pretty good for what it is. That's the only damage on the bumper, bro. Really? Like, that is crazy. Even when we upgrade it, it's still gonna be worth some money because for the most part, it's still, all the tabs are good. It has all the grills. Um, yeah, so that's pretty good news. Moment of truth, guys. Will the headlights work? Woo, buddy. Come on, please. Okay, we got those working. We got the halos working. We got, <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, they are. So that is perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Got everything working. Uh, actually, turn, uh, flip the light switch again, guys. I just want to make sure the adaptives are working. So uh, if one of them are not working, neither of them will work. As you guys can saw, yeah, the headlight's moving. So this side's working. All right, do that again, Neon. If you guys look at this one, yep, that one's moving too. So our adaptive modules are good and our also our high beam modules are also good to go. So the headlights are literally in great shape at this point. So now, um, is this guy serious right now? Come on, dude. <laughs> now let's just go ahead and put on our bumper. Just like that, guys, you have the front bumper on there. The, the camera's honestly making it look at like a million bucks. <laughs> There's so many scratches, you guys come up close. There's so many swirls, a bunch of dents, but it is what it is. It's all functional. So that's what's the main thing. The door opens, uh, the side skirts on, the fender's on, the front bumper's on there. The front tires are good to go. Actually, all the wheel liners are good in the front. Uh, as for the rear, the rear tires, the, the other side's popped. This side is just really, really, really like, it's, it's, guys, like, definitely needs a new tire. My brother has new tires over there. And like I said, we have the trunk and we have the door. So hopefully in upcoming video, we will be replacing those. Uh, but yeah, guys, so far, at least the whole car is pretty much back together, which is really important for now, just so we can get the thing to drive around for the most part. Also, a package just came in from FCP Euro. So I'm super happy about that, guys. We literally got everything from cabin air filter. Actually waiting on one more box. I don't want to do the maintenance just yet. Waiting on one more box to do the full video with, uh, with FCP because huge special shout out to them. I love working with FCP Euro. Again, it's a lifetime warranty. We got NGK spark plugs. We got Delphi coils. We got front and rear brakes uh, because my brother also has a brake light and we won't pass brake inspection without those rear brakes. I feel like he did donuts. He messed up the rear tires. He messed up the rear brakes, but it's all good. We got the tires. We got the brakes. We got new rotors, oil. We're still waiting an oil filter and we're still waiting on another um i think the intake filter and we're still waiting on the front rotors but other than that we do have everything else like i said we have tires we did get the window regulators a couple other things we're still missing one more door um yeah this guy the guys this has been a mission we are literally trying to perfect this thing as much as we can on a budget our trunk has a small little ding right here as you guys can see it's just like it's not crazy noticeable but it's noticeable and i'm just not a huge fan of dings like that especially this is replaceable and it's really easy to line up this quarter panel does have a small ding there but i mean my body shop guy has not been responding to me recently so i need to find a new body shop guy unfortunately but yeah we're just gonna leave that as for this door obviously we got a new door right over there we're we'll going ahead and replace that and for this fender we are getting a brand new fender because so we're gonna go with a full kit i'll be showing you guys i've actually never done this kit on an e90 before so we have a front bumper fenders side skirts and rear bumper coming in so it's gonna be replacing all this stuff we're gonna be replacing this door we're gonna be replacing the other door we're pretty much replacing every single panel and replacing the trunk we're gonna be replacing the hood later uh, in the year i'm waiting to get a super nice hood but they're out of stock right now so we're waiting on that yeah bro i mean do you see the potential bro like oh yeah dude this thing <laughs> <laughs> it's coming together, bro. I mean, dude, look, look, just look. for the budget, like, guys, like, what, what are you into this car right now? Like, the way it sits, not with all the stuff behind us, like, just this right here. What are you into it? What, like, two k? Not even. I think so. Let's just say fifteen hundred for the car. We bought the headlights, right? We already sold one of the headlights. So you're only about the headlights by sixty bucks, right? Oh, yeah. The bumper came with the car. The fender came with the car. I mean. 
Bro, <laughs> like technically this you, is you got you guys gotta understand like we're not keeping it like this like, We're not keeping it like this but honestly imagine buying a car like this off Craigslist for what is it like like 1600 bucks Like just the way it sits and it drives I throw myself at the fender real quick. Bro, you, you really <laughs> <laughs> I mean at least it'll be more like, it'll make sense why this is there My god, this thing is a beaut bro. What is this daddy's money? of the video this is the next morning so i'm gonna get this video out for you guys today um let me know if you guys like the editing style of this video i'm gonna be upgrading this camera as well jonathan did motivate me uh this is a g7x i've been using it for the past like year and a half and uh I'll look muffin over there. And uh, honestly, we just, I, I need to upgrade the camera. I definitely need to. I actually have a better camera. I just need a better lens. So I'm going to go ahead and invest into that to get you guys some better cinematics, some better quality, and probably even invest in a microphone and stuff like that. Because I honestly do want to raise the quality at the same time, bring you guys even better content with rebuilds, getting back into those rebuilds. Super excited how the E90 is going. So far, so good. We have so much planned for this thing. It's going to look so, so, so good. End of the day. This is pretty much our, our way of getting back into rebuilds. And then after this, hopefully, I'm going to be trying to pick up an M car. Um, if the i8 sells of course i'm trying to wait on the i8 to sell as soon as that sells we'll pick up some new builds on the channel i'm pretty excited about that but without further ado guys i love y'all so much remember to stay humble i'll see you guys in the next one peace out